What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a big new product review. This is 2021 Panini Immaculate Collection Basketball. One of the highest end sets out there. So big rip here and I thought it'd be fun to uh, try this one out. See what we get. If you guys like seeing these big products reviewed, help us out by dropping a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new. Share, comment, ring the notification bell. And also step further, sign up for membership. It definitely goes a long way towards helping us do big rips like this one. And you can get bonus videos, badges, emojis, things like that. Link down below. And uh, thank you as always. Helps us a ton. So Man, Immaculate. It's a big product. It's a very risky one. So we ripped it before and we've had some pretty good luck. So hopefully we'll have more of the same this time. But it's a it's a big set here. One of the big three, we call it. So here's the information for this product. It's a, definitely a long kind of list here in terms of things I want to go over. But after that will be the opening. And after that is the recap and rating for the product. But uh, the SRP for this here is $850. So definitely a pricey set. Now the resale is going to be in the mid 2000 range, maybe like 2500 give or take 100 at uh, the time of posting. So very, very pricey box. One of the most expensive boxes we've opened this year so far. So yet six cards. That's it. Six total cards. And there's one pack or mini box inside. Five boxes per case. So as you see in the front, there it is. Just six cards. And here's the back. A lot of stuff you can find. It's a very long list of things here. So uh, you get three autos per box, two mem, one base card. And uh, once again, this is the big th well, part of the big three with uh, Flawless and National Treasures in terms of the high-end sets that we get every year. So here's some big chase stuff, and you can kind of uh, read along on here. But some big things to find in here would be the on-card RPAs, multi-sign cards. There's uh, cool memorabilia, logo man, and championship tag autos, uh, things like that. Then uh, within the autos, you're looking for the on-card acetate RPAs. The true RPAs are definitely the most popular uh, ones to get. So looking for those of guys like Ant, Lamello, things like that. Then you're also looking for Logo Man Championship Tag Autos. There's dual Logo Man Autos, uh, Premium Patch Autographs, Logo or Brand Logo Autos. There's a Sneaker Swatch Autos and more. So a lot of autograph content to look for in here. And uh, the multi-sign cards, you know, there's two, three, four players signing on one card, all on card, things like that. And then um, also like veteran patch autos, di different kind of sets within there. So tons of autograph sets to look for. Very autograph heavy, of course. So there's so many sets within there. Those are just a kind of sample of things you can find. With the memorabilia, the brand logos, uh, dual patch, jersey number, then there's jumbo patches, jersey number, logo man, dual rookie card uh, with you know two pieces of jersey for two different players, also triple and quad. Then there's sneak peek and soul of the game and team slogans, things like that. Also uh, dual logo man, right? So two players, two logo man, really sweet stuff. And then parallels, one of one platinum, green to five, gold to 10, the base is to 99. So lots to hunt in here, really risky set but very high ceiling, one of the highest ceilings you can get. So definitely look out for stuff like that. And um, yeah, that pretty much covers all the information. So let's see what we get in in this one here. So Immaculate comes in this tin. Let's uh, get this box open. But what's your favorite set within Immaculate? It's a lot of nice stuff. I love those logo men, of course. I love the RPAs. The multi-sign cards are awesome. Actually, I pulled a multi-sign card in the past and I also bought a Luca and Jaren multi-sign card. We did some collection videos recently. Definitely check those out if you haven't. Some top 10 pulls of the year, our end of year recaps we do every year, top cards in the collection. And we showed some of those big immaculate cards. So there's the sleeve and we'll put that there. In the background, we have some immaculate action. We've got Kawhi and got Shea as we open up this box. And also Pac-Man cards at IG. Drop a follow if you haven't. And uh, you can get bonus kind of looks at different sets, cards. That's right, buy, sell. I want to carefully get this open and make sure drop everything all right there we go all right so inside just this uh little box here one little mini box so let's get this out box to the side and there we go comes in this big tin so that being said let's see what we got fix the camera a little got bumped just a bit there we are all right so here's our Here's our box. Six cards in here total. So let's get this open and see what we get. So this is a big rip every year. Very nerve wracking and extremely risky. You can get some really nice stuff. You can get some okay stuff. You obviously want the really nice stuff. So let's get these cards out. And there we go. I think that's all of them. Maybe one, two, three, four, five. There might be one more in there. Yes, there is. Uh, good thing I didn't didn't take it out or else uh, that one card would have gone flying somewhere. All right, now empty box. 
So good to check. Good thing I did that count or else wouldn't have been good. I'll say that much. So here we go. First card up. Wish us luck. Big, big risky one here. Here's our first card. All right. So starting off with a super boom. Tim Hardaway Jr. to 99. So that's the regular base card to 99. There we go. Now with these thick cards, I always say shine it in the light like this. Look for some kind of fingernail indentations. Look for a lot of damage. These cards get easily damaged. So definitely keep an eye out for that. First card, and uh, that's the base. The base design, honestly, every year looks kind of the same to me, but looks pretty nice. What are your thoughts on the base? Let me know down below. Our next card, up. Oh, I can probably move this forward a little bit. Our next card here should be one of our hits because the rest are all hits. Card number two is, okay, so far, see a little theme going on here now hopefully maybe we see like a like a Luca or something like that i don't know but there's a jersey card josh richardson now for a box that's expensive having a base card and two mem cards that usually aren't anything too crazy there is potential there but not crazy potential but um I, yeah i don't know value wise I, th I think all those cards just six cards should be pretty big cards whereas in reality only maybe one or two are but yeah there's our Jersey card, it is uh, it is game worn for what that's worth, but next card up. As always, guys, once again, you guys like seeing these reviews, these big rips. Show support in these vids with a like, subscribe, memberships, things like that. And we'll have many more like it. That support goes a very long way. Card three. Okay, let's see. What is that number two? To 99, is that? Let me get that a little closer. The standard, Jerry West. Nice jersey card to get. Yeah, 40, 41 of 99. Okay, cool card. Nothing insane. But that kind of going back to my point, three cards in, we've really haven't gotten anything of note. Cool, cool looking cards. Like, I'm not going to knock the design. I actually like the design a lot. But these cards, maybe like, I don't know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, who knows. But not, not a ton. That's the point I'm trying to make. So now is the autographs. And this is where a lot of your value is. So hopefully, I think we have a redemption here. We saw the origin of Lucky Curry in our last video when he was uh, first introduced to the channel. Let's see if he can, one last time this year, strike gold for us. All right. Yeah, redemption here, I think. Or it could be one of those icons cards. We'll find out really soon. Yeah, it is a redemption. All right. Here we go. Let's see what Curry has for us. We got... Oh. Curry. All right, let's carefully. It's okay, it's okay. Curry's just a little nervous, as am I. Basketball, back on track. Patch autographs, this will be a vet set here. Who knows, let's see. 48, Richard Jefferson, okay. Uh, solid player, no crazy hit there. Solid one, Redemption, Richard Jefferson. I haven't seen him sign, I'm sure he's been signing, but I haven't seen uh, too many autos of his recently. That's an okay card. I mean, that's nothing, nothing insane. Patch autograph of Richard Jefferson. It's cool, but given the price, given kind of the magnitude of this box, that's not going to do it for us. So far, we don't have too much to show for what we've uh, put into the box so far. All right. Next card here. Here we go. Let's see what this is. Card number five. So these next two are, this is where it's at. This is the big stuff. This one is. Daniel Oturu. It's not even... It's D-O. You know how Oturu does it. D-O. That's how he signs. Now, it used to be Daniel Oturu. It was messy, but at least he wrote his name. Now it's D-O. One last Oturu. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say that. There's still flawless coming. I shouldn't say that. That's a bad idea. I wouldn't be surprised if we have the Oturu box if, when we open that, or if we open that. But uh, a red to 25. This is the premium patch autograph, I believe. Yeah, premium patch autographs, Daniel Oturu. One thing I'll, once again, recommend is, see that? Right there, there. I mean, with on-card autographs, that's going to happen, but I would just recommend checking your cards for things like that. So, Oturu, so far, not so good. I'm really hoping this last card's good, and it's definitely not a given. There's rough boxes in this set for sure. There's great boxes. You never know what you're going to get, though. All right, here's our final card. Wish us luck. Our last one is... All right, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. We got a true RPA of Denny Avdia. I'll take that one. 
72 and 99. That's a pretty nice card. So hopefully we can do some big stuff. You know what? I went into this hoping I could get a true RPA or one of those crazy exotic cards, which are much more rare to get. And uh, got an RPA of a guy who maybe could do something. We'll see what he does. Denny. All right. I'll take that. It's a solid card. And uh, this is the uh, RPA. So acetate front. There's a serial numbering on card autographs and a patch in there that is uh, not associated that's what we come to expect. All right, that's a that's a pretty solid card. I wouldn't say it's a monster, but given if you're familiar with this product, given how boxes sometimes can turn out, that's something I'll take. I'm not complaining about that one at all. Nice card, nice looking card. So hopefully you can do something big. And let me quickly protect this card because this is definitely our by far our best card we got. So this is the true RPA, kind of like when you say National Treasure, you're looking for the true RPAs, which are big. Um, I would say the same thing for Immaculate plus those kind of other. More exotic cards, as I said. And uh, that, yeah, so we got the uh, true RPA here of Denny. Pretty nice. So let's uh, do a recap. Empty box. What are your thoughts on this product? Let me do a recap and then we'll kind of do my uh, rating on this set here. So here's a. You know what? I don't. I shouldn't have been surprised. You always get one of these guys. Oturu to 25. So he's a superstar. I think he got signed to like a 10 day with. I forgot which team. But uh, or maybe something happened. I saw his name recently. <laughs> Daniel Oturu, 25, DO. The auto. Richard Jefferson, patch auto, not too bad. Jerry West jersey card, pretty nice card. Got a Josh Richardson and some more Mavs action. Tim Hardaway Jr. So, always on the card, uh, the logo, the team logo. But, so nothing too crazy there. But we did get a decent card to close it. One that I'll take. 72 and 99 true RPA of Denny Avdia. So, hopefully he can do some great things. This is a card I definitely want if he does end up being really good. So, yeah, that'll do it for this one. So, uh, rating, thoughts on the product. It's so, so, so risky, and um, deeper you go into that box, the better the cards you get, so, you know, I was really hoping that last card, that's often where your money is going to be at, maybe that second to last one, but I usually see that that last card is. Uh, I just think it's crazy, crazy risky for that price, that, you know, mid $2,000 range. So careful, 1 to 10, and I always include the ceiling design, things like that, into the rating. I'm going to say it's a, uh, I'll say it's a 6 out of 10. That's all I'll give it, because crazy risk, often it's going to be tough to get your money back, you're really just hoping for very, very narrow ceiling of cards to make that money back, but you can get some serious, seriously big cards that other products can't say the same. So uh, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, if you open some for yourself, wish you the best of luck. Let me know what you got. And yeah, comment your thoughts, reactions down below. Overall, solid stuff. Can't complain. True RPA. I'll take it. And a few other cool cards in here, but nothing, nothing insane. So that does it for this one, guys. Immaculate. Big rip. Maybe we'll have flawless. Stay tuned. If uh, you guys want to see that, Smash the like button, subscribe, let me know, comment down below, sign up for membership, things like that. And maybe we can do that big one. That's going to be the biggest box uh, probably of the year if we do open that one. So it's going to be uh, interesting times and we will see. But those are for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.